Hello everyone, I'm Joanne and welcome to my craft room. So today's one of those days where I just want to play. I don't want to create anything, I just want to play with some product. So a lot of the times when I want to play, I pull out Be Bold Blooms. I love this set. These are cutting dies, but I saw something on this uh, in this past week that Spellbinders had uh, shown on a video where you can foil your die cuts. Now I know I've showed you guys before that you can put your foil on a piece of paper and then um, and then die cut. Okay, but it definitely looks a little bit different when you foil a die cut. I've been playing with this all morning. Look at this. It definitely looks different because see where the white the um, embossed lines on those little cuts are it definitely enhances that isn't that fun I had to pass this on to you guys oh look I'm ready and here's one in silver and I did a gold middle on that one I'm not putting a card together or anything I'm just having fun foiling Look at that magenta. Oh, I love that. And then this. Oh my goodness, that came out so stinking cute, right? Now you know I'm going to use these pieces and parts on cards, but let's go ahead and start. So I have my solid hot foil plate here, okay? And I've already cut out some dies. You could cut out any dies that you want. Okay, so always pretty to pretty. Okay, so the pretty side of the plate, which this pretty side is indented, to the pretty side of the foil. And then the side that you want the, of course, the foil to smush into, because that's what's actually happening happening here, is the foil is um, pressing into your paper. Now I am using Hammer Mill cardstock. Um, everything is linked below. I am an affiliate. I forgot to say that, and I do receive a little commission when you click on my links and order, and I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. So here we go, and it's at no cost to you. So you just put your die cuts, okay, on your um, foil. Okay, now here's gold. I'm going to do this little one in gold, okay? Let's see how we get here, all right? And then I'm going to place this side down. Now, woo, that's stuck right to me, okay. Um, that's perfect, yeah. Okay, now, let's talk about this also. I'm going to push my timer. Um, <clears throat> when this transfers, the foil that you see that is not covered by the die cut that I've done, it will then transfer to your plate, okay? And it will transfer to this um, greenish colored one. This is heat protectant, so you always want this one down first. But to stop that, this was ingenious. To stop that, I took a piece of copy paper. This is what I learned. Just copy paper. This is just scrap. Place it on top. Now, that, that over part of the foil is going to transfer to that copy paper. Now, I'm going to put my green shim and then my spacer pad, my thin shim and my spacer pad. Remember, the green always goes first. And I'm going to place that down there. And I'm going to scooch this over and get these things out of the way. I already have a gold and a silver middle for my flowers there. Um, but I'm just having fun with uh, leftover foil and my glimmer system today. I just didn't want, I just wanted to play. I've got a really hectic week coming up. So this is probably one time I'm going to get to play. Right? Here we go. Okay, now I'm ready here. I'm going to undock. There we go. I'm going to place this right here. And I'm going to use my shim that came with my Platinum 6. And because this is a solid hot foil plate, I am going to run it through slowly. But then I am going to run it back. I really want that foil to transfer onto my die cuts. I'm just going slowly and I'm going to go forward again and four times is probably too much 
but because it's a solid hot foil plate, I'm not really, I'm looking to fill in all my space. And I'm making a video. So I thought more might be better at that point, right? There we go. Okay, let's see what we have. Oh my. <clears throat> oh my goodness, let's see. Look how cute these are. Look at that. The, it is definitely a different look with um, a die cut. I am amazed. And I'm using my scraps. Let's see how this little one came out. Ooh, look at this. Oh, wow, that came out great. Look at that gold. I don't know if I got a little crinkle there, but we'll see. Let's see what we have. This one might not have. Let's see about that one in just a second. And that one's fine. These are gorgeous. I got a little crinkle in my paper. That was my bad. But that is no problem. Let's dock. And is it really that noticeable? Well, yeah, it has a line through it, right? I'm going to foil <clears throat> over top of it because I've heard that you could foil over your foil. So let's just, let's see. <clears throat> I'm gonna get a little piece. I'm gonna give it a little slice here while that's heating up. And let's just see, wow, the, all of that came out so nice. So this is heating. And see how that transferred onto the copy paper and not my shim. Isn't that nice? That's awesome. So we'll do that again. We'll try to salvage that one. If not, I'll make another die cut and I'll, um, I'll foil it. But let's go ahead, while that's heating up, let's put our centers in here. So I have, I want to do a gold on one and a silver on the other. Oh, that's ready. Okay, let's go ahead and do pretty to pretty. And then we'll put our little guy down there. We'll put our paper hit the timer, place the shims, good. Now let's see what we have here, okay? I'm gonna take these little pieces and I just wanted to alternate some, the center color, only because I had them. I had the colors, I had the gold ones and the silvers already completed. I'm using Gina K Connect. there. Look how pretty that is. Oh my goodness. Wow. Um, this is this is just a game changer right here for me. Uh, uh, just a different way to foil. your Foil your die cuts. Isn't that amazing? I learned so much. Isn't that so pretty? Wow. Can you see that? Look at that. I mean, if you love, you know, and I do. I love sparkly things. Who doesn't like sparkly things? Okay, let me push this out of the way there. Now, we're ready here. You guys know I do everything with you. I'm just going to kind of bring this in this way. Because if I make a mistake, it might happen to you. Let's see. And I've heard that you, and I saw that you can, you know, uh, foil again. <clears throat> foil over foil. So it's just up in that corner and I'm just going to roll it back and forth a little bit because I really want to press that foil into that paper on a solid plate. I would definitely not suggest that on um, anything that had any, uh, you know, texture to it. I would just do that on a solid plate. That's it. Let's see. We fixed it. It worked. It worked. Look. The line is not there and it is perfectly foiled. Oh my goodness. Another game changer. And see, none of uh, the foil has not transferred to my plate. I just cleaned this with acetate and I was like, I'm going to try that with the, um, with the little thing there, the computer paper like they said, and boom, it works. Let's put this together, right? So let's get these guys on here. 
just going to bring them in. And I'm going to get this little piece right here. Let me flip this over. And we're going to add a little glue here. Unlike these little cups, the bottoms of the flowers, right? Let's at least put this together. It'll be a nice match for that one, right? So let's turn these. And what I do is I just put, because I'm on the silicone, I just pick it up. See? I just put it down and pick it up. And any silicone mat would do. There. And there. I'll link one that from um, scrapbook.com for you guys at the underneath the video. There's a little show more button. Just click that button and you'll see all the links to everything here. Oh my goodness. Isn't that, is that a game changer guys or what? I love doing this rather than making paper and then doing the die cuts. Look at this gorgeous array of flowers and um, I love this. This is my fave of the entire thing. This is my favorite right here. That came out. Wow. Wow. So just a little video T today for you guys. I really appreciate everyone watching and um, I hope you enjoy my little journey here with foiling. Look at those beautiful, beautiful flowers. I love that. So if you are into hot foil, please die cut in um, white hammer mill cardstock, whatever cardstock you're using, I should say, whatever cardstock you're using to foil. If you're getting a good result, you'll get a good result with this and um, use the solid hot foil plate and have a blast. This is a game changer. I'll just kind of sit in here this afternoon, make a bunch of die cuts, and um, maybe even venture out into some other um, uh, die sets and go ahead and make some pretties. This also helps me to use all of my scrap. Okay, this is all scrap foil. And I always save it for sentiment or whatever, and this is a definite whatever. Thanks again for watching. Remember, links are below for you to click and order. And I hope you enjoy this. If you'd love to get into hot foiling, um, it is the Spellbinders Glimmer System that I absolutely recommend. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.